I'll begin with the end in mind. It's an eight-point game with two minutes left. If we didn't finish, we fizzled. And that's extremely disappointing in terms of where we are and what we need to do. And I'm not talking about moral victories. I'm just talking about being responsible uh, and finishing things at a higher level than we didn't. And you can't do that against any team in this league, let alone a team that's on first, number one transition team, number two three-point shooting team, number one field goal percentage shooting team. It doesn't matter if you win the board or do anything like that. You just have to finish, and we didn't. So Kelsey had 26 tonight, but it seemed like a lot of those points came when the team needed them most. You fall behind by 16 or 20, and she'd go on a burst. What does that say about her, that she could put those po uh, points on the board when you guys kind of need them to get back in the game? I mean, it speaks volumes to her gift. They had a lot of success in the win column. It's difficult to keep people up. So that's a testament to her character and continuing the work. Seattle's a very long team, especially in the paint. What were you telling to your post players to keep them from getting discouraged about not scoring? Yeah, you know, Stewie's 6'4", but her wingspan is 7'2". Not exaggerating. Uh, so and her release is a little bit longer. We have to move that around and we would have spurts well, we made some of that size move from top to bottom and side to side so you can get a little bit of separation. Uh, it is to their advantage, or any team's advantage, let alone someone with size. And not just their size, she has timing. So it's not just the shots that you can block, it's the shots that you can alter. And we just didn't have enough long spurts of that. And then, you know, and when we did, listen, I'll go back and there'll be about 15 shots that I thought were great shots that just didn't go in. In terms of just Cappy and the development with this young team, is that something you guys have spent some time talking about, just you and her one-on-one, -on -one, about her role and the development of some of these youngsters? Well, you know, this is my second rodeo with Cappy. I brought her to Chicago for the very same reason. So, first of all, she's a competitor, uh, and she's going to bring that at a level. But it's the things you don't even have to talk to her about, you know, taking care of her body, what she does on a day off how she warms up. She's like a boxer. She gets lathered up. She teaches them how to go through drills, how to go game like. I mean, everybody can go in the gym and shoot when their cousin's in town rebounding. She's trying to go at it. And they see that and they want to emulate that because she's one of the 20 greatest to ever play. So it was a nice bonus for us. And yeah, we talked a little bit about it, but Kathy knows.